Hi, Nathan with Complete Water Solutions, and now we're going to cover the E4 Series RO system as well as the preventative maintenance items, and we'll cover other topics like what you should be testing daily, and as well as we'll cover RO membrane changeout. All right, the first thing that we want to discuss is what should you be doing daily? Well, those things include water quality checks, flow checks, and as well as pressures. So first thing you're going to want to do is do a water quality check. And so what we do here is we test the incoming water coming into your RO system. Some things that RO membranes don't do well with are hardness, iron, as well as chlorine. So those few particular items actually will cause, sometimes if left unchecked, can cause irreversible damage, such as items as chlorine. Most membranes today are known as thin film composite or TFC or polyamide, PA. And those particular membranes do not tolerate chlorine long term. So they will cause irreversible damage and can cause, uh, you have to replace these RO elements. So utilizing a handheld TDS meter, uh, this one is particularly called the Myron L. Uh, you can also look at other TDS meters that are out there. Link in the description below, by the way, for any of these products that we're talking about here today as far as purchasing them and where you can purchase them. Um, and next thing, again, is the hardness test kit. Um, this one is a hot hardness test kit. And it does hardness, iron, pH, and chlorine. And so we recommend testing your incoming water. And then on your permeate, check your TDS coming off of it. And so you can look at your TDS coming in and your TDS coming out, and that's known as rejection percentage. So it, just for simple math, if you have 100 TDS coming into your machine and you've got two TDS coming out, you're at 98% removal or 98% rejection is what we call in the industry. And that is actually pretty close to what new membranes will output for you, uh, anywhere between 99 to 98%. Sometimes a little bit lower depending on the water quality and the current situation that you're running your machine. So if, you're, if you have your TDS coming in at 100 and your TDS on your permeates down to, is coming out at 10, then you only have 90% rejection, and that's not good. That's not what new membranes would put out for you. So you may have some problems, or maybe just be time for cleaning. Now we're gonna cover our pre-filter pressure and our post-filter pressure. And so this is regarding our pre-filter that's in this blue canister housing here. That is what we call our pre-filter. It's typically a one micron, 20 inch filter, and that is used to trap any larger particulate, anything that's greater than one micron. Uh, this is usually changed out on a 10 to 15 pound differential. So if you've got 100 PSI coming in and you've only got 85 PSI coming out, then it's time to change it. Now, typically you're not gonna run that high of a pressure on your incoming feed and we don't recommend it either. Uh, then you have your primary pressure and your final pressure. These pressures are based off of your pump discharge feeding into your RO membranes and then on your concentrate side after it's past the RO membranes. This pressure drop is kind of important and can kind of give you some telltale signs as far as if you have some scaling or organic fouling going on in your RO system because the greater the DP, the most likely you have to either A, replace your membranes or you'll need to clean them one or the other. So. Uh, to learn more about cleaning your RO membranes, visit the link in the description below. We did a video about how often you should change these membranes and how often you might have to clean them and what you should potentially clean them with. We also have a step-by-step -step procedure on our website as far as cleaning the RO membranes is concerned. So next, let's talk about changing the pre-filter. All right, this is our pre-filter on the RO system. It's a cartridge filter. It's one micron, and it's usually located on the incoming side of your RO. Now, if you don't have a pre-filter on your RO system, we highly recommend making sure you get one. On larger systems, they might be in a stainless steel housing or fiberglass housing that looks similar to an RO membrane housing, um, but there's usually a filter inside of it. So this is a one micron filter. Now, standard with the factory from Osmonics or now Suez, uh, they come with a RO save filter. Now you can use the RO saves or you can switch over to a PX01 or a GX01. We do recommend a one micron filter though. This will help uh, trap any sediment going before the RO system. And it's, you know, the tighter the better in my mind uh, to try to make sure you can prolong uh, getting any scale or anything on the RO membranes. 
Uh, another notable item is the O-ring on the inside of here. You may want to keep one on the shelf because um, over time they can just wear out. And uh, as you try to screw this off and on, because you'll most likely change this. Uh, usually it's recommended. The manufacturer says every two weeks, there's the old rule of thumb of changing these pre-filters. Depending on your incoming water supply, you may be able to get away with a month. We don't recommend going much longer than that if you can avoid it. Um, it's just good to pull it off, take a look on the inside, make sure that the filter is nice and clean uh, so it's not going to uh, cause any bypass issues. Again, if you don't, if you wait too long to change it, you can actually have a reverse effect where it'll start slugging off dirt or it'll get past the filter and it'll actually end up on the RO membranes. And these are cheap to replace, the RO membranes are not. So we recommend that you know changing the pre-filter is a great insurance policy for making you have a long, long life on your RO membranes. Hey guys, if you liked this video and you found it helpful or found it informative, would you consider subscribing? Maybe hitting that like button. And also maybe forwarding this video off to others within this industry or maybe your coworkers. Maybe they can find this information helpful too. And as always, we wanna say thank you and have yourself a wonderful day.